Hello cookbook friends and welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie. Today we're going to look at the Magnolia Table. This is by Joanna Gaines. Lots of people have been looking forward to it. We ran out and bought it right away. Let me just show you what it kind of looks like. Hopefully my light doesn't just wash everything out. You can see it has a lot of photos. I feel like I need to come scoot up a little bit more. But it's very nice. It has a more rustic feel compared to her other cookbooks. Her other ones seem to be a little, I don't want to say elegant, like elegant and rustic or different, but it just feel this one feels more wholesome, less fancy, just something you can use every single day and less complicated and it doesn't have to look pristine and perfect, if that makes sense. So I really appreciate that. Here's our table of contents. Let me find it. Uh, we have breads, breakfast, I know it's washing out, appetizers, starters, soup, salads, side dishes, dinner, desserts, and acknowledgments. And we also have a universal conversion chart, which is very handy. Um, let me see if there's any... So it's actually primarily in like cups versus milliliters. So if you are, you know, maybe if you're international and you're really curious about this cookbook, you can still use this conversion chart to you to bake and to, I guess, cook all of these awesome dishes. So here we have popovers. I'm just going to share with you guys some of my favorites, at least. I'll break these down a little bit further um, in a second. So we have truffle butter rolls. Beer bread. Oh, I miss beer bread. So uh, one thing I'm noticing here, just so you're aware, there's no alternatives. So like no gluten-free uh, or dairy or some of it has some replacements, but that's because that's the recipe is, is towards vegan or dairy free. So but I'm not seeing any substitutes in here. That's something you should know right off the bat. Um, Ooh, sticky bun casserole. Here, let me just show you guys how this is broken down a little bit. You can see we have our standard cook time, prep, etc. on the top. Here is our uh, ingredients, and then right here is our directions. This one's a little more elaborate, but it is cinnamon rolls, of course. Apple fritters. At the very top of this one, for instance, you can see there's a tiny little blurb. Some of Joanna's uh, recipes actually do come from some of some of them are family passed down recipes. Ooh, look at this Dutch baby. Um, and this book is dedicated to her father. And she talks about how it's really awesome that she, you know, loved cooking for her dad when before he would come home and that he would eat her food. And I think that's really, really cute. So we get to learn a little more about her and her life and growing up. So here's some appetizers and starters. This is a sausage stuffed mushroom. That would be awesome. This is a roasted red pepper hummus. Some of these would actually be really great for Mother's Day coming up. So like these summer rolls with peanut sauce, this one's always a slam dunk at our place for sure. Uh, this, oh, we even have different, I didn't even know this. So she has little things trickled throughout like uh, techniques. So this is the art of pickling. I am definitely gonna read through a lot of these because we have uh, kimchi, marinated okra. Uh, this is a burrata, cherry burrata, that looks good. I don't think I've ever had that before. Texas caviar. That's fun. Jalapeno popper dip. Well, that's definitely going to be a hit at a party. I know we're not, I, I know we haven't even hit summer yet, but I could definitely see a lot of these recipes for fall. And uh, I'm really excited for us to get to fall. Like this chili, or this is a enchilada soup. This would be awesome for fall. Granted, it's probably great for summer too. Uh, Greek lemon chicken soup. Okay, there we go. That sounds very summery. Cobb salad. Italian pasta salad. Very colorful. I like that this cookbook is not shiny. The pages are very smooth, but everything's matted. Um, and it just, it looks really nice. I think it's going to keep really well. Just as far as the quality of the book itself, it's very, very nice. A lot of the recipes are more, I would say, Americanized, but there are a lot of international dishes or, I guess, international 
fusion. It's it's pretty pretty awesome. Lots of these are very simple. Here's some potato medley, but spinach enchiladas. That's really good. Let's move on. Chicken taquitos. Oh, this is awesome. Actually, this is a fun thing. I just saw this. It says served at the taco truck in Waco, Texas. So some of these recipes are actually from restaurants. Uh, and I had no idea. That's an extra thing in this book. Spanakopita. This is one of my friend's favorite dishes. Pink baked ZT. Japje. Oh, that's awesome. There is a lot of really cool dishes. Bean Bean Bop is another one. Mongolian beef. So, so many dishes. And I love how photogenic everything is. This is braised short ribs. So, if you were like my household, so I even grew up kind of like this. My mom would try to get a huge variety of different dishes throughout the week. This book, she probably would have only used this book because there's just so many different dishes. Like this uh, beef tenderloin. We saw a couple, you know, very hearty American dishes. But then like the japchae and bibimbap, some awesome Korean dishes. And then we saw some Mexican dishes. Lobster mac and cheese. Yum. So very cool. Garlic shrimp. I wonder, oh, over Parmesan risotto. Very fancy. A lot of these dishes, too, that I'm noticing, a lot of the cook time really isn't over an hour. It's pretty simple. So we're at buttermilk pies, strawberry hand pies. Oh, I'm so hungry. I want pie. Here's some more pictures. Orange mint mousse and chocolate cookies. I love that. Raspberry lemon curd and a uh, curd cream puffs. Okay. I just want to stop right now and make this right now. Uh, this is a butter cake. And then I'll do two more blonde brownies. And we have pecan bars. So as you can see, I think almost every recipe does have a photo in this book. I am I am impressed. It's very, very uh, rustic and it's approachable. Great for weekdays and weekends. Like there's some very elaborate dishes in here. Like those sticky buns would be awesome for a great Sunday breakfast. Uh, then there's stuff that's very, very easy. So check this one out. This is the Magnolia Table by Joanna Gaines. This is volume three. Check out our other volumes and you could probably find those on our playlists over on, on Cookbook Divas on YouTube. Thanks so much. Uh, if you are looking for other cookbooks that are similar to this, especially like weekday recipes check out all of our playlists and make sure to join us on our socials that is in the links down below thanks so much have a great day